Friend. Welcome to Savor the Moments with Tia and Friends. I'm really, really excited about today because number one, we're at Amagans at Food Institute. Number two, we're with my new friends on the East End, Chef Nick and Surreal J with Hampton's Meal Prep. And today, we're gonna be diving in to see how they savor away. We get to see what they're all about. They talked about it a couple weeks ago. Now I get to give you guys an inside look into their growing business. So, come on, let's go look. Hey. Oh, hey, what's going on? Just, just trying to so. Oh, wow. Hey. Okay, I like that, I like that. What's up, guys? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. You? Good, good. Excited? I'm really excited. I'm excited, too. Yeah. So let's get you. Let's get you. We're going to explore right now. Wow. I've got us a little setup going for some simple prep we're going to do today. That's going to have something to do with the dinner that we're going to cook for you guys later. Okay. And we, you know, so that we got to be a little part of what we're doing oh. for tonight. Wow. This is a culinary adventure right here. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful place to be able to learn. And this is exactly what you were talking about a couple weeks ago. Exactly. With Amagans at Food Institute. Exactly. They're providing a great space for their chefs and food purveyors. This is wonderful. Yeah, I've got our station set up. Okay. Let me get my ear. Okay. Oh, so you two prep together. Yes, we do. Oh, that's even that way, better. That way it's not just him abusing me all the time. I get to abuse him a little bit. He abuses me in the gym, I abuse him in the kitchen. It's our relationship. Exactly. I like that. I like that. That's right. You know, he's, a, he's a really good teacher. So, like, uh, it's almost like, you know, I get to learn how to cook. I get to learn, you know, all the secrets that chefs know without having to go to culinary arts school. You know what? That's so good. Because it's a healthy way. You're, now you're teaching him how to so cook healthy. First, first other trick here. I got one for you, brother. Okay. So that's what I always use one. Okay. Why one? Dirty hand, clean hand. So I like that. That way, if you need to grab other things in the kitchen, you don't have to take off a glove, put on another glove. You can okay. Your knife in. You don't end up, if you're working with fish, working with chicken, something like that, you end up having stuff all over your handle, which ends up being gross. So you don't want that. Now, before I go in the back, I want an apron, too. You want an apron? Okay, let's get you in. Yeah, I want an apron, too. We don't want you to feel that bad. <laughs> and, I mean, you guys match? Yep, that's right. You gotta keep it, gotta keep it sexy in the kitchen, you know what I mean? That's right. Thank Here's you. Here's your apron. Thank you so much. There you go, and just tie that around Ooh. you. And it go oh, black on black. You see the heels with the apron? You see this? You see this? Nice. Now what's going on here? So a little bird told me you changed your name from Hamptons Just Healthy to Hamptons Mail Prep. That's correct. That is correct. Yeah. So what happened? So I, I think we were testing and we've been like putting it out there slowly and seeing how people react to it and pretty much taking constructive criticism and feedback. And the thing that we notice is that as soon as people hear the word healthy, yeah, like they like, you know, unless they're on a health kick or unless they're ready to change their life or unless they want to, you know, actually eat healthy, they're not interested. And uh, I think we're, we're just going to take the approach of just being uh, convenient. And then when they figure out like that they're losing weight, that the food tastes better, then we can, you know, when they go on the website, they can see, okay, this meal is only 300 calories. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Okay, you know, okay. So that's telling them right off the bat, like, we want you to eat healthy. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to tell anybody how to live their life. I just want to contribute to people's life. I think that's I like that. what we're trying to do. We're trying to contribute. And so if we can get you a meal that tastes better than McDonald's and it comes from your local farms, comes from you know everything fresh we waste nothing and we get it to you two times a day uh, I think you will buy, I think you'll buy into the idea better than if we just told you we need you to eat healthy and this is just about eating healthy you know and then plus we, we have a cheat menu so it's oh. not all about eating healthy like uh, you guys are gonna taste some of our cheat meals and okay we your kids too. yeah and we cater to kids and, 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 and to be quite frank with you a lot of kids don't they don't really eat healthy they don't really like the way eating healthy tastes. Now, although we do have Chef Nick who makes, you know, healthy food taste just amazing, but the fact of the matter is, whenever you say healthy, people like, if they're not in that health lifestyle, 
instantly turn their nose at it. You know, okay. For a long time, health food has been bland. Yes. You know, there's no salt. There's yes. no this. There's yes. no that. But what most people don't know is there's things like Flavor God that give food amazing flavor. There are tricks that he uses because he's a professional that gives the food an extra, you know, extra punch, extra taste because he is a chef. Yes. You know, that's why we couldn't just come in here. I couldn't just come in here and make the meals myself yeah. because they would come out the way a personal trainer would make the meals. Got it. The chicken's dry. You're like, yeah. damn, another piece of chicken. And I understand people, yeah. so we don't want to come off like that. We want them to kind of like stumble upon it and be like, wow, this food is actually healthy. Yes. Yeah, it them in there a little bit. Yeah, we got to like, you know, we got to slide it in there. We, I don't yep. want to like lead off the bat with it, and, you know. Exactly. I just would look at people's face every time we'd say, you know, we deliver healthy meals and they're, you know, nutritionally weighed out and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I just start to see their head, their eyes roll into the back of their head and I'm like, they're, they're not interested. So a couple weeks ago when we were sitting down and we're talking about this it wasn't just a concept it was already happening it was blossoming so now you did your test market you went with your friends you talked about it and even other people that were not your friends not my friends too yeah. okay and then they were like okay hampton's just healthy so they had a curious feeling behind it you feel like that that's what I made you like, turn i feel like or? curiosity went Cur out the window okay and, and, uh, when we say healthy. Okay. You know, so now saying Hampton's meal prep, it can mean anything. It can mean anything. It can mean anything and we're not in a box anymore. We're just keeping it convenient. We're keeping you. it convenient, man. Convenient, it's all about convenience. Locally sourced. Yep. Fresh, good food with very little done to it. Right. You know, when you go into a grocery store, there's two sides of the grocery store. Mm -hmm. There's the organic side of the grocery store and all of those things are a little more. Okay. And then there's the other side. Now, I don't know what separates them different, but you see what I'm trying to go? Yes, yes, so yes. If we buy together, then everyone gets that opportunity to, to eat that quote unquote expensive, more expensive food. Okay. You know what I mean? Am I making myself clear, Nick? For me, I agree with you 100%. It's all about making healthy food approachable. Approachable, yeah, that's what I mean. Approachable. Because it's something that it's, it's like what, you know, what we discuss a lot. It's. For me, I've been working in restaurants for a long time and just lately really getting into eating healthy, eating the right way, working out with my good friend here who's taken me to places I never thought I would or want or enjoy being. And now I do, I enjoy the whole, the whole lifestyle, waking up earlier in the day, eating healthy, working out. How much so, weight, how much weight have you lost? Lost 35 pounds. 35 pounds already. Since the last, so that's like 10 pounds more exactly. than the last time we met. And, and here's, the, here's the thing, I've been a personal trainer out here for at least, I think I'm going on like eight years now in the Hamptons. I've made a pretty decent name for myself. But in my heart, I've always known it doesn't matter how hard you hit the gym, you can't outwork a bad diet. Of course, what go. did they say, Jay, abs are made in the kitchen? They're made in the kitchen, yeah. you know, and I can crack the whip and I can yell, and I can get you to train with me three to four times a and week. And I can go home and eat a two and you cheese can, burgers and three whole and it's all gone. Oh. And ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. So this is the meal prep service is that, it's key. is that key to get you the success, the body that you want, yeah. and it's just it just makes it that much more easier. I get the meals, I'm so spoiled to the point now where like I don't even want to cook at all. See, what I love, what's happening, is you're inspiring. You're inspiring everyone, whether they're going to be working out or they're going to be in the kitchen using. Exactly. Right. And the thing for, what's prep. great for both of us, I think we inspire each other. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's definitely, uh, he's definitely inspired me to change my lifestyle. It's, it's good to have somebody, you know, some people like me need somebody on their back <laughs> telling them not to mess up all the work that they've done. <laughs> so, Exactly. So you're the accountability partner. Yeah, yeah, I love that. You know, and he he even see, said the same thing to me the other day. He's like, I'm going to keep on doing it until you, still get, until you start getting sensitive. Right. And I, I was like, it's not going to happen because I know we're, this is to an end. It's and that, that to change my life. That's yeah. what I like about him because I've worked with different people and I have friends and things like that. And people are so hypersensitive. Yep. You know, and how can you have an accountability partner? If when your partner's telling you, man, you suck and you're, you're falling off, you're not doing a great job, mm -hmm. no good job, no pat on the back. Like, you're horrible. You're, you're not doing good. Yeah. But, you well, know. She's told me more than once. Yeah. You
you know, I, I believe another reason why we wanted to change the name is because there's a stigma that goes along with eating healthy that mm -hmm. it's expensive and that's likely true. Like at different places where you would go buy the premium meats and the premium vegetables and the fresh vegetables from the garden or the farmer's market, is it, it's a bit pricier than what someone who's typically used to paying for meals right it's yeah. a little more expensive like i've been spending maybe a hundred dollars my whole life and getting a bag full of groceries yes. like this yes right? and then now i decide to change my life and eat healthy and i spend a hundred dollars and i get something like that something like this so now you're teaching everyone yeah so what we're trying to do like we're doing is by putting it all together and putting the money together and shopping right. with cash and, and in bulk and in bulk okay we get it for a cheaper price so then it's not expensive for the average person to eat healthy you know because i have a lot of rich friends and they only eat healthy they only yeah. eat a certain type of meat they only eat fresh vegetables they you know they shop at certain places and they won't go to other places so we want to allow people the opportunity to do that you know make it affordable for everyone to yeah. eat healthy so a really good friend of mine his family has an estate over in greece so mentis estate amazing his name is anastasio so what he did, he's gifting all of the private chefs that I know that are friends of mine on the East End and other places, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, we gonna mix something up with this right with, now. With a bit of his family's owned olive oil. So t I'm really happy that I'm able to connect, and that's what I do, connectivity. Bring it on the forefront, and he's in New York. So bringing a little bit of grease over to New York and now to the Hamptons. And what the best part about this olive oil the carbon footprint is three. His family is in Greece, pressing that olive oil. They're sending it to him. And then after that, it goes to the, per goes to the consumer. So that's three stats. Our friends over at Haskell Seafood, Captain Peter Haskell, what he's doing is similar. He built a community with fishermen on the East End, housing them, whatever they have, like their fresh catch, just say someone or is ordering um, a lobster tail from Montauk he'll be able to ship that overnight. That's so fantastic. his customer will have a taste of the East End. And again, going back to carbon footprint, it's three. So from the fisherman to him, to the fisherman, to his facility, and from his facility to the customer. Beautiful. And that's what I love. I love seeing communities work together, whether it be meal prep service, or whether it be a farmer connecting with you guys so they can, so it can share the community love of nourishment, of knowing like what they can have. And then with Peter as a fisherman and a captain and housing this, giving its haste throughout the nation, letting them know you need to support your local fishermen wherever you are. So going back to you with delivery, you're saying it's two days, three days, or? Um, that, I, I, I admire that he gets the product to them so quickly. Yes. You know, that's the biggest problem in meal delivery services today, and what separates us from any other meal service that you may see on Instagram or on Facebook or that a friend may tell you about is that they're gonna deliver you, you're gonna order on Sunday, and you won't get it till next Sunday. Yes. So you put your order in, and you'll get it next Sunday. Yeah. And when you get it, the order is so large that food ends up spoiling. So and you gotta toss you, it. You gotta toss it. You got 40 meals that you order, and you're all excited, you're amped up, you wanna eat healthy, and you're like, yeah, I'm meal prepping now. But the problem is, after day three or four, and maybe you've only eaten three or four meals, you're like, okay, if I leave these meals in the refrigerator, they're gonna spoil. Yeah. So let me put some in the freezer. Yes. The problem with that is the meal delivery service froze it. Before, it's been frozen for a month before you've eaten it, right? Then they freeze it again when they send it out on the UPS truck and deliver it to you. That's just depressing. That is so depressing for the food and the food goes. And through. the livelihood of the, the food. The livelihood of exactly. the food, the flavor, the taste is all. The color. By the well, time yeah, you, you freeze it. something like that, the freshness is gone. All right. So now and then now you've got it and you put a couple meals in the refrigerator and then you put the other ones in. Yeah. You're trying to save your dollars. You're like, I don't want to waste this. Food. So you put those in the freezer. Now it's on the third time that the food's being frozen. So we wanted to be different from them. And even though it costs us more to deliver twice a week and have people put their meals in that way, we're doing it that way. So then that way you get 12 meals, you and but you ordered 24. Yeah. You know your other 12 are coming fresh on Thursday. 
So you're investing into your client's oh, livelihood. Yeah, of course, it's important. Yeah. It's, yes. It's bigger, this is bigger than just, you know, let's serve people some food. Like, we're trying to change people's lives and provide value to their life. If someone can get, if it takes two hours for them to cook dinner for their family, and we save them two hours, you know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, that's 14 hours of their life they got back by, you know, working with us or yes. having that on their side. So yes. we're providing them that, and then they're getting their nutritional value from top quality foods. So after it's prepped and they receive it, of course they have to cook it. No, they just Not microwave it. You just a microwave or you're even feeling that adventurous, you can put it in the oven. You can put it in the oven or saute. I mean, exactly. Uh, so it's it. already it's made. It's, everything's made. Oh yeah, everything's already made. So you don't have to take the steps, have the recipe card yeah. and go any of it. This isn't like one of okay. those Okay, okay. You have to prep. So it's okay. all set. Everything is set. It's received. Exactly. Yes. I get it. Knowing me, I'm not really a microwave woman, so I may just... Put it in the microwave. No, I'm not a microwave woman. Yeah, I'll just sear it yeah, or do it in the oven. Yep. And then that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. And so everything's the, together. The, yeah. reason, the reason why we sous vide everything is for that reason. Exactly. Because it'll hold up to the reheat. Wow. It keeps the food tender. Have you ever eaten a piece of chicken that's been in the microwave? Yeah. It's cool. like a piece of dry That's why I'm not rubber. really a microwave type of person. Exactly. I, I'm all about the oven yep. or the stove top. So that is it. Same thing with, with, with what we do. If we give you, per se, a steak and you want to take it out and sear it, you let it rest for yep. a while, come up to room temperature, and all you have to do is just kiss it in the pan on each side. And it's perfect. That's it? Perfect. It's perfect. And that is, Later. do you have like your own recipe cards that are going in the box that says like what's... It, what we have is on each meal, mm -hmm. there'll be a sticker. Okay. That's going to tell you the calories, the proteins, the carbs of each meal. Fats. Exactly, and the fats. And then what time it will take either in the microwave or in the oven. Okay. And that's because that's really or all Or stove top. Need. Exactly. And that's all you really need to know. Okay. That's all you that's really great. need to know. Yeah, because... I mean, those meal places that send you the food, it's nice because you don't have to go to the grocery store. Yeah. But you still have to make the food. You still have to read the recipe. You still have to go through a learning process. And you still have to make a and mess and clean it up. you still have to make a mess and clean it up, like so, the man said. Yeah. Some people love doing that to be culinary and having like date right. night and have fun with that. But yeah. the, well, but then you, you have that, others. You can just call me. I'll come to your house. We'll oh. do private cooking together. But we're more so looking for the people who are like, I want 14 hours of my life back. Back. Yep. You know okay. I mean? I, I'm too busy. I can't. I can't. Exactly. I want to get slim. Kids. Yes. I want to eat healthy. I want to lose weight, but I'm working two freaking jobs. Yes. Take care of a family. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't have the time. Those are. That's our ideal. Client. So he just said that, which we'll notice later on today at James Hart Vineyards Cottage. Mm -hmm. You'll go in and you'll you'll teach them how to cook. So. Oh yeah. I'm. I'm I'm down for anything. I, I want. And that's a service that you guys teach. have at Hamptons Meal Prep. Exactly. I okay. Can, I can teach. We can do private dinners. We can do catering. Exactly. Okay. We can teach your kids. We can teach you. We can teach couples. We can teach groups. So, so I'm really excited to dive in to another culinary adventure and actually savoring every bite so with the spread we, that you have prepared. So I want to watch you finish prep everything up. And okay. then head over to James Park. Let's do this. Sure, boys. Exactly. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right. So I'm going to take awesome. off my apron right. since we're done. Yeah. We're done. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Me, I just need to clean and we're good to go. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much Cheers. for having Cheers. us back. Great. This is great. Back. So we're starting the co we started the conversation here a couple weeks ago with you. Absolutely. And now we get to end it here. Yeah. Seeing. Nice. We're gonna actually get to taste some food, which I'm excited for. I'm starving. <laughs> you and us both. We'll put some wine together with them. And I'm really excited that we have some other tasters here. We have Miss Danielle here with Mix. Go ahead and. Media Plus, And then we have Miss Constance here. You know, just bring a little bit of everyone here. And then we have our friend Sarah. She loves enjoying the wine. That's all I have to say. Third generation. Just third generation. Yeah. We'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just do that. That's all you gotta do. All right, so, Chef Nick, what are we gonna try first? Food. Food, okay. Got some food coming up. Some food, okay. Tacos, okay. The aroma, the aroma. So we are the first ones to dive into Hampton's Meal Prep. 
we get to try their new spread. So everyone here, you have to be honest. Okay. If you love it, wonderful. If you don't like it, it's okay. We're the first. We're testing it. It's awesome. We're, We're savoring it. The world needs more critics, so it's good. We got it. Right. Be a critic. <laughs> yeah. And the best part about it is we get to pair it with James Port wine. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so you let us know what it's going to be good with. Sorry for taking the wine, too. You can. You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's very opinionated, though. After a few of them. Exactly. It gets better. See, this is what Savor the Moments with Tia and Friends is about. You're savoring our moments with new friends and trying new things. So you have to try this Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. I'll try it all. Okay. <laughs> but the fact that it's organic is a surprise to me. It's well, not easy just to sustainable. Sustain, but sustainable. What's the difference? Sustainable is profitability, but sustainable is also you're making the effort to reduce the amount of inputs into the vineyard and yes. onto the fruit and into the winemaking, allowing this fruit to make the wine the way it comes from the vineyard. That sounds organic. <laughs> it is close, very close, but it's not, it can't be considered organic. There's a certification that takes place for all of that stuff. So. But there's no sulfites. Uh, there's, always, there's always sulfites added. You're, 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 it's always a part of the winemaking process. It's very hard not to make wine with sulfites. Because sulfites, they come, it's a preservative. They come naturally, but there's also a preservative. But we use low amounts because of the healthiness of the grapes that come into the building. And that's what's important. Is the low sulfide count. Right. This is good. really good. Wow. And the pork roll is especially good. Thanks. So which wine should we pair with this? Good idea. Good idea. Amazing. They're all... Yeah. You know, this is a... Uh, so the Chard would go with this? The Chardonnay, the Cap Franc, the Cap Franc, the Syrah. The Chard's got a little spice to it too. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I can't believe there's no meat in this though. This is actually really good. I know. I, I was half skeptical. I do love my meat, so. And is this, this corn is, uh, tortilla? Jay. Corn yes. tortilla? Yes. I'm not a corn tortilla girl, and I'm loving this. We under salt and under season everything just because of the sodium, and we're trying to make it healthy. Right. So if you want to add the salt, it's fine. Okay. I think the capron really will go good with this as well. Beautiful new labels too. You guys, I think we had showcased these on the last, we uh, last time we were here as well. I like how they're more modern. Yes, it's a traditional actually label. It came actually, I believe, from the Japanese. Uh, Gayu taco. Yeah. Gayu taco, Gayu taco is where they actually yeah. take the fish, put it in the impregnation. Oh, wow. And, they yeah. print. and they were, yeah, put them on rice paper to give you that look and feel of that. So they're actually actual fish and stuff that are on there. So it's around, since we're in Long Island, maritime, fishermen, they want to yeah. bring that here. Right. Oh, so you can see this. If you look close enough, you'll actually see the the actual. Oh my God, where the, the squid! You can see the ink, how it bled into the paper and that everything. That is so yeah. cool. I love it. Wow. Wow. Let's save her away. We have seven, my friend. We have oh seven. Yes, we do. So let's save her away. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We're going for our veggie patty. Come on, bring it up. Very excited about this. Wow. I just start to break it up right away. I was doing that. I don't know. Got a real char on it. First, wow. So that way it kind of helps get a little bit of crisp on the outside of me. So and then sweet. I pour wine in there and I kind of just ruin that out of it. Wow. That way, I mean, we're going to get that nice wine. I'd be happy getting that. Yeah, I would do it. I'd be happy getting that. Potato jam in there. Where did the salt just go? Right here. The jam is really, oh, the okay, jam pairs really nicely. I know we do. <laughs> Sharing is cool. Plain, yeah. simple, to the point. Uh, this is good. If I serve this to a lot of my guests, mm -hmm. I mean, they would love it because they, they would think it's That's meat right. when it's really not. So, will this be on the menu year-round since it's yes, not meat? Okay. So this is an item that anyone can just say, I love this. Awesome. I want this. I can get this once a week if I want to. Oh, yeah. Or twice a week if I want to. Five times a week. You can have okay. three times a day. And okay. eventually, I'm assuming ingredients will be listed due to allergies for things, different things yep. like that. You're great. <laughs> All right, ladies. So, Let's see, where did wow. yours go? Yours is here. Looks delicious. No turkey. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. This, this, 
So we have. Oh, turkey's good for me. Yep. Is turkey? Yep. Good. Okay. This is turkey, correct? Right? Wonderful. Yep. Okay. Thank you. So we have spaghetti squash with ground turkey and arugula yeah. pesto and a little wow. bit of kale microgreens on top. Delicious. Wow, this is delicious. Served with a 2017 Sauvage. Oh, yeah. This oh, is Chef wow. Chef McSpeaver wine of, the, of last time we were here, oh, actually. Oh, we have to try it. Yes. It is an aged Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh. Okay. It's phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah. When we use open glasses, exactly. Maybe we'll do a little more. Fantastic. Yeah, I need a fork too. That's what I like to hear. No problem. That's what I like to hear. Okay. So this chicken, Ron was saying it would go really well with the Riesling. Ooh, yep, I have perfect. Riesling here, 2017 Riesling, so it's a little bit dry on dry style. It was actually barrel aged, so a little barrel ferment, so it gives it a little complexity, um, but not your typical Riesling in, because it is in a barrel, but uh, it's got some nice bright acidity to it. So. Does anyone want to taste the Riesling with? So we have, this is um, chicken and mm. couscous. Exactly, and, and uh, let's, let's make it sound a little nicer. We're gonna say it's like a Mornay sauce. A Mornay. 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 Exactly. So there's mushrooms involved? Exactly. All I right. taste the mushrooms. Little cheese, little roux, little chicken stock. There's something I feel like when I'm having the tacos, it's like, it's like a fiesta in my mouth. You know, I feel like it's like a fiesta. It's like easy. And it's easy, so then when we when we dove into the pasta, I, I felt like that's more romance. Like, I feel like it's a tango. Okay. Okay. No, caramelized onion. Ooh. Obviously, this is not gluten-free, everyone. Oh, my God, my favorite meal. But, um, He's really, he's making some cool He's dead Cabernet oh, Franc. No, it's Cabernet Franc. Nice red. Uh -huh. Good for pizzas that we're having. Where's we have on? a uh, margarita pizza yes, and we have a... Caramelized onion. Caramelized, caramelized onion. onion. Okay, Danielle, the pizza's getting yeah. cold, and which is not working. I'm coming. You okay? Uh, yep, I'm great. You need any help, just call me a run. We, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> So with chia seed, I'll be honest with you, I don't like chia seed, so you're going to see my reaction if I... Chia seed is so good though. It is, it's so good for you. It's so good for huh? you, and, and in pudding it can be delicious. I love tapioca, chia yeah, seed. So I mean, oh, it's good. I love that kind of stuff. It's good. Yeah. It's good. See, what I'm loving about the experience with you, Chef Nick, is that everything I don't like, you're bringing <laughs> it to light. Good. So I could love it. Thank you so much Cheers. for Thank being you. here doing this. Thank you, Ron. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you guys for coming. Cheers. 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 Cheers.